Hey everybody, it's um back for now we do um aluminum. And I just realized that when I record on my Blackberry my voice actually sounds like I'm like ten years old. But I actually talk in an awfully deep voice. Well not awfully but you know, it's kinda deep. Although it sounds like a childless voice when I record it. Probably I'm too far away from my phone. I'm probably gonna do a little talking so just let you guys enjoy it. So enjoy the How It's Made Marathon. The most available source of aluminum is actually bauxite. Bauxite is mainly mined in tropical countries. The aluminum atom in bauxite is bonded to oxygen molecules. These bonds have to be broken by electrolysis to produce pure aluminum. Bauxite is carried by rail to the plant where it will be crushed. Then, through a chemical transformation called the Bayer process, alumina is extracted. It looks like milk. It looks like milk. To eliminate all moisture. This is the reduction facility. Oh, uh, you guys didn't hear me clearly. I uh, said it looks like milk. Mm-hmm. Through which a powerful yep. electric current will be passed to produce electrolysis. Big word. The crane dumps alumina into the pots. Then the electric current from the anode passes through the alumina that we see here at the bottom of the pot. Via the process of alumina reduction at 17. That's what I kind of like. I like when they melt stuff. It's kind of cool. And will have to be replaced. It's a continuous operation. Each anode has a lifespan of about 20 days. They're alive. I didn't know that. Spent anodes are recovered from the pot with this overhead crane and carried oh. up to be recycled. Oh, never mind. I thought it froze. Huh? They clean the aluminum rods, which will then be reused. the anodes. When the anodes are replaced, the accumulated impurities have to be recovered from the top of the box. This is accomplished with these pincers. Then a new anode... Pincer? Wouldn't it be pinchers or something like that? Continues. Eating. The electric Puking, but it's also like eating at the same time. The heavier aluminum collects at the bottom of the uh, I'm going to place my phone somewhere. Kind of get tired from holding it. Which is drawn off and treated. I wonder if I can actually record Command and Conquers. It's a PC game. Command and Conquer Generals. Really cool. Really cool graphics. But I just don't know how to like record whatever I do on the computer. I just don't know how. So if any of you know, just put it in the comments or send me a message on how to record whatever the hell I do on my on the computer screen. So that way I can record Command and Conquer Generals because it's an awesome game. And not too many people know it. What many people know is Command and Conquer General Zero Hour. Zero Hour. Oh, Molten Metal, that's awesome. Molten, it looks like, looks like metal water or something. Like, reflective water. I actually saw this somewhere, I, I can't remember what it was. Um, this guy dipped his hand in cold water. Alright, just like quickly dipped it, not quickly, but like dipped it in water. Then he quickly dipped it in molten aluminum or metal, and then took it back out, and he didn't even get burned. He put it back in the water, back into the aluminum, molten uh, metal or aluminum, put it in, came back out, nothing. It's kind of weird though. I'm like, what? How do you do that? What the heck? Yeah. I'm gonna need some Coca Cola to stay up all night. Or just stay up recording something. It's an A through D marathon, by the way. Yeah. She ain't got no alibi. You're ugly. Alright.